Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to send a text message using a GSM Shield SIM 900 using Visuino and Arduino board. For this project you will need a Arduino Uno board or Arduino Mega, SIM 900 GSM shield, jumper wires, breadboard, two buttons and two 1 kilo ohm resistors, 5 volts power supply, Visuino program and SIM card. Wire everything according to this schematic. On the GSM shield make sure that you put the jumpers for the pin 7 and 8. Open the Zuino program and select the board. In our case this is Arduino Uno but you can also select Arduino Mega. In this project we are going to use the software serial component to communicate with the shield. So let's add software serial component. And let's connect pin RX to Arduino board, digital pin 7, and pin TX to Arduino board, digital pin 8. Now let's add text value component, where we are going to set all the commands. Double click on the text value 1 and in the elements window add 3 set value elements to the left side. Select the first one. With this one we are going to set the command for putting the shield into the text message mode. Type it under the value. Now select set value 2 and here we are going to set the phone number for the text message destination. So where we are going to send the message. Type the command under value and the phone number must be in the international format. Now select set value 3. And under the value we are going to type the message that we want to send. Now let's close the elements window. Now we have pretty much all the commands, but we need one command more and this one is to send the message. For this one we are going to use the char component because we need to send the char value 26 to send the message. Let's add char value component and under the value we are going to type hashtag 26. Now we are going to use the text multi-merger component so we can merge the values from both components and we are going to send the value to the software serial component. So let's add text multi-merger component. And connect text value 1 pin out to text multi-merger 1 pin 0 and connect char value 1 pin out to text multi-merger 1 pin 1 and now let's connect text multi-merger 1 pin out to the software serial 1 pin in. Now that we have all the commands ready we need buttons to trigger them. For this we are going to add two debounce button components.
and because the commands cannot be triggered all at once we will also use the delay components so let's add three delay components connect Arduino board digital pin 2 to the button 1 pin in and connect Arduino board digital pin 3 to button 2 pin in now with first button we are going to set the shield into the text message mode and with the second button we are going to send the message we are going to leave the first delay uh, interval to 1 second and we are going to put 2 seconds for the delay 2 and the same for delay 3 we are going to leave it at 1 second now let's connect button 1 pin out to text value 1 set value 1 pin in and to delay 1 pin start and to delay 2 pin start now let's connect delay 1 pin out to set value 2 and delay 2 to set value 3 so as you can see now from this order we are first going to set the shield into text mode then we are going to set the phone number and after that we are going to set the text message now let's connect button 2 pin out to delay 3 pin start and connect delay 3 pin out to char value 1 pin clock now with button 2 we are going to trigger the delay 3 that will trigger the char value 1 to send the text message if you want you can also connect software serial 1 pin out to the Arduino board serial pin to monitor the messages from the shield now let's upload the code make sure that your sim card is not locked with the pin code on the shield hold the power button for about 2 seconds and once the LED on the shield will blink every 3 seconds this means that the shield is connected to the GSM network and you can start sending messages